99% of YouTubers that are posting on shorts right now aren't going viral and honestly aren't getting the results that they want on YouTube shorts because of a few simple mistakes that they're making. They're not using the right titles, they're not getting enough watch time, and then also they're missing out on one other secret hack that I'm going to be sharing with you later on in this video. No seriously, it's literally that simple. If you make the right title, get the right amount of watch time, and implement one other small thing that I'm going to share with you later on in this video, your YouTube shorts will start to go viral. This has helped so many creators go from small creators to large creators. In fact, this creator gained over 2 million subscribers following the same exact advice that I'm about to give you. This creator, over 1 million subscribers, and this creator gained over 100,000 subscribers in an incredibly short period of time, and you could do the same exact thing. All you have to do is implement everything that I'm about to share with you, because you see, the only thing separating you from where you currently are right now and these creators from where they are with a million subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, they've reached the goal that you want to reach. The only difference between you and them is that they've already heard and implemented this advice. Hack number one is making sure that your videos have a viral component in the title. You need to understand something. In order for your video to get clicked on, in order for YouTube to know who to actually push your content to, and in order for your content to stand out on YouTube Shorts, you need to make sure that your title is optimized. Importantly, it needs to have 10 different factors in it. One, refuting something. Two, something epic or extreme. Three, has a time in it. Four, has an authority in it. Five, invokes curiosity. Six, needs to invoke fear or negativity. It needs to have a deep desire. It needs to have a time frame, or it needs to be listing something out. If your videos do not contain all of these things that I just shared with you, in fact, your titles need to have two to three of those things, your video just isn't gonna go viral. If you study any viral videos on YouTube, any viral video, it doesn't matter what the niche is, doesn't matter who the creator is, they're going to implement those things. Most of the time, they're going to be invoking curiosity, or they're going to be invoking fear, or there's going to be a time frame in there, or they're going to be taking advantage of an authority. And that's one of the things that so many small creators are getting wrong on YouTube, especially small creators on YouTube Shorts. If you want to be successful on YouTube Shorts, you need to make sure that you're taking advantage of these things, and again, two to three of them in every single title that you're posting. Because honestly, if your title doesn't have those factors, you shouldn't even bother posting it and you shouldn't even bother creating that video. In addition to that, you need to make sure that you're posting at the right time on YouTube. So before I share with you the best time to post on YouTube right now, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free YouTube growth course so you can get the link in the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like what hashtags and tags you should be using on your videos to help them go viral. It's free right now. You can get it at the link in the pinned comment below, but it will will not be free forever, so please take action on this. So right now, there are essentially two best times that you need to be posting on YouTube. The first one is gonna be when very many of your viewers are online, and it's going to be the first hour for that. If it's spread out throughout the day or it's grouped, you wanna make sure that it's in the first hour. This is where you're gonna see the most success. If you're able to see that, if you go under your audience tab on your analytics, you'll be able to see this. It should be highlighted in a very, very bright purple, and it's when very many viewers are online. That is when you should be posting in that first hour. If you do not have those analytics yet, you need to be posting at 11 a.m. or at 3 p.m. These is gonna be the best two general time slots for you to be posting on YouTube because you need to understand something. Although 99% of the views that you're getting on YouTube are going to come after the first 24 hours, first 24 hours is gonna have a huge impact on whether or not your video gets the initial click-through rate or the initial watch time or just the initial audience recognition that it needs to get in order for it to get pushed out by YouTube. A lot of creators will upload at midnight or they'll upload early in the morning or late at night and it's a terrible time for them to be uploading and also, this also changes the geography in which your content's gonna be getting pushed out. So some creators, their videos only get pushed out on YouTube Shorts in India, or they get pushed in some other country where they might not necessarily want to get views. Now, I'm not saying getting views in India or getting views somewhere else is bad, but if you want to get views where your audience is going to be located, please, please, please make sure you're uploading at the right time. Because like I mentioned before, if you're not uploading at the right time, then your video performance isn't gonna do well. Also, if your title, the watch time you're getting, and whether or not YouTube thinks they have an audience for your content isn't on point, well then guess what's going to happen? Your video is not gonna get picked up at all. And the number one way that you can actually change this and dictate this is by focusing on your title. I know I shared with you before the 10 things that you need to make sure that you're including in your title, but I also wanted to add in a few other things. One, you need to make sure that there's a single hashtag in your title at the end of it on YouTube Shorts in specific, and there should be an emoji that helps invoke whatever kind of emotion you want somebody to feel. If you want them to feel fear, it should have that. If you want them to feel surprised, it should have that. If you want them to feel happy and warm-hearted, then it should be a warm-hearted emoji. Now, that being said, that is not enough. You guys need to understand something. The only thing, and the only thing, that the YouTube algorithm cares about is one, people are clicking on your video, two, people are watching your video, and three, your video's topic is something that YouTube knows that 
they have an audience for. Now you're probably wondering, Rob, but how can I show YouTube all these things? The number one thing that you can do to show YouTube all these things is start creating your title and your thumbnail before anything else. Small YouTubers all make the same mistake. They create a video, then they edit the video, and then they create the title and the thumbnail, and this is the wrong way to do this. I repeat, the wrong way to do this. If you wanna be successful, come up with the title and the thumbnail first for a couple reasons. One, if your title's not on point, nobody's going to click on your video. Two, if your title's not on point, YouTube isn't gonna know who to push your content to, in which case, nobody's gonna be interested in your video. And then three, if your title does not match what your video is actually about, well then guess what's gonna happen? People are going to click off your video, it's going to tank the amount of watch time that you're getting, and ultimately, this is going to be the reason that your YouTube shorts aren't taking off. Now, one of the biggest complaints that I get from small-time YouTubers is they say something along the lines of, Rob, I understand that I need to invoke curiosity. I understand that I need to invoke fear. I need to use an authority. But how can I actually find examples of this? It's incredibly easy. You need to, one, look at your competitors on YouTube. Two, type in whatever you're gonna be making a video about. If you're gonna be making a video about finance, type in finance, hashtag shorts on YouTube, and then you'll see a ton of shorts videos that are on finance. You're gonna wanna write down the title of those videos. Also, I would make a note of how long the videos are because this is another thing that you guys need to be paying attention to, which is how long you're creating your content. So many people will create content aimlessly, sometimes 17 seconds, sometimes 40, sometimes 60. A lot of creators on YouTube Shorts are making 60 second videos because they can, and that's not something you should be doing. If a shorter video is gonna work better for that topic, then make a shorter video. If a longer video is gonna work better, then make a longer video. But please, be intentional about how long your videos actually are. I don't know whether or not you guys notice this, but my videos are always 10 to 11 minutes long, or nine minutes long. You wanna know why? Because intentionally, those are the best times for how I get the most amount of watch time, how I get the highest click-through rate, and how I get the highest conversions of people actually signing up for the free course or signing up for the mentorship or whatever it is. And I've literally tested this over uploading hundreds of videos. And you need to do the same exact thing when it comes to YouTube Shorts. But you are actually in a much better scenario than I am because in the beginning, I had to pay an editor a lot of money to be able to upload a YouTube video every single day. But you don't have to do that with YouTube Shorts. You can build up an audience now with minimal editing, with not doing too much. And also, it's incredibly easy to be put out shorts content as opposed to creating a 10 minute long video. It literally takes like 10 to 12 hours of work to make a 10 minute video on YouTube and you're able to make a 60 second video in just a couple minutes of work. So please make sure that you're taking advantage of this. Because before I share with you the watch time hacks that Mr. Beast and other big creators are implementing into their content, I need you to understand something. This opportunity to grow on YouTube Shorts is not going to last forever. In fact, I don't think it's gonna last much longer because a lot of big creators are getting into creating YouTube Shorts and a lot of people are really succeeding on YouTube and you need to understand something. A lot of people think that their niche is oversaturated on YouTube. That is not the case. That is never the case. Oversaturation does not exist on social media. The truth of the matter is that your content isn't different and it's not better. If you can make better content, you can make different content, well then guess what? You're going to succeed on social media. All you have to do is look at what people are currently doing and remix it, make it a little bit better. Like I was saying earlier, you're gonna wanna write down the best titles from everybody else in your niche, and then you're gonna wanna apply the 10 principles that I gave you earlier. A lot of creators also just go with the first title that comes to mind. Stop doing this. My videos started to do so much better on YouTube, and my clients' videos do so much better on YouTube when they understand something. Write out your first idea, then write out four or five ideas, try to make them better, and then from there, choose the best one. Stop just going with the first title that comes to mind. Normally, you won't get your best title until three, four, five ideas deep. So please, make sure that you're spending as much time as possible on the title and then get into actually recording the video and editing the video. Now. When it comes to actually getting people to stick around on your video and watch your entire video, you need to understand a few things. One, the majority of people are gonna drop off in the first three or 30 seconds. So what does this mean? You need to get straight into it. You need to provide value right away. Now value, you might think, is only for education creators. That's not the case. Value could be invoking curiosity, invoking fear, giving somebody a really warm feeling, making them say, hey, what is going to happen next? I need to watch this video, or by explaining what you're gonna be sharing with somebody. But nevertheless, you need to get straight into it because the majority of people that are gonna click off your video, gonna swipe off your video in the first three to 30 seconds, which is why you need to get straight into it because once somebody leaves your video on YouTube, you don't have a chance to get them back. Secondly, you need to make sure that you're adding subtitles into your content. The majority of people that are on social media, especially on their phones, do not have their sound on. I'm sure you've all been in the situation where your sound went off, you were at the doctor's office and then you look like a nut or maybe you were in school and Bruh. then you get yelled at by your teacher or you're at work and now everybody's staring over at you because your phone just went off. This is why people scroll 
scroll social media with no volume on. They'll only turn it on if they're going to actually pay attention to the video, which is something that you could be adding subtitles for to help exemplify the hook, adding a really good title for so that people actually want to watch and listen to your video. But if you do not have subtitles on, the amount of watch time that you're getting is going to decrease significantly. Third, and most importantly, you need to make sure that there are constant clip changes, constant screen changes, constant background changes, constant changes in your tone of voice. This resets somebody's brain and makes them continue to watch your videos. And for the love of God, I cannot believe I have to say this, make sure your videos are formatted correctly. It needs to be a vertical video on YouTube shorts. Your text should not be over the title. It shouldn't be half off the screen. It shouldn't be covering the like. It shouldn't be covering the comment. It shouldn't be covering the share. I cannot believe that I have to mention this, but you'd be surprised how many creators I look at their content. You could tell they put a lot of time and effort into the content, but it's not formatted correctly. In which case you just totally wasted your time because one, YouTube's not going to push the video out. Two, when they do push the video out, people are going to swipe away or click away right away because they're going to say, why am I going to watch this creator's content if they can't even format their video correctly? And your mistakes don't end there. A lot of creators are also making their videos too long or too short, or they're using the wrong tags or wrong hashtags on their video. Or worst of all, you're not taking advantage of sounds that are going to help you go viral on YouTube shorts. If you wanna know what sounds are gonna help you go viral on YouTube shorts, I created this video I'm gonna put up on the screen next. I strongly suggest you check it out if you wanna skyrocket your views on YouTube shorts by simply adding a sound into your next video.